First time ever glamping in a yurt at Elk Island Retreat. This is a detailed video in what you can expect in staying at Aspen Yurt at Elk Island Retreat. We provide additional information to what we have already shown in our first video on glamping in both the yurt and geodome. Here's a link up top if you want to see that video again. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Redoing Life, a channel that encourages and empowers you to recognize you are the agent of change in your life and to start changing. Here we are at Aspen Yurt, here at Elk Island Retreat. And we're going in. Got a nice little deck and chair. I'm gonna go up to the door here. And here they actually have a number pad for their lock. We enter that in, I won't show you. Here we go inside. Oh, we're just gonna close the door there. Lock. Let's see, did I yep, there we go. We locked it there. Here we are at the light switch right beside the door. This doesn't turn anything on. This is the middle switch and it turns on all the lights inside here and then we have another light switch here and if we turn that one on that light switch will out here turn on the light outside here we have the fan switch in which if we turn this one on it'll turn on that our second one here it'll turn on that and it'll turn on the light to both fans and right beside the light switches here we have a couple of coat hooks there we have a nice side table here very quite actually I like the pattern on that and we have a really nice cozy chair right there and they, there's actual <laughs> nature's all around us we have all the windows open so you're gonna hear a lot of squirrels and other wildlife going on um, they have some really nice plants in here the, this is actually quite pretty I like that this actually looks really comfy this is a hide a bed if you wanted four people to be sleeping in the yurt there is a hide a bed here but they don't provide the beddings for it you have to provide it for yourself and some nice cushy pillows here we are at the couch and in front of the couch is actually animal fur it's like an animal fur rug and then they have a really nice table here uh, with a tray and some it could be dried um, flowers and all that so they have like right in front of the couch a table where you can set your coffees, your books. All the windows can be opened and we have that right now. So we're getting some fresh air in. They all have a nice screen mesh. So don't have to worry about the bugs coming in from the windows. And they also have a window blind that you can bring down. Managing the temperature here in the air. They do have a thermostat. They have like your glasses. You got a water jug there. And I think that's a cutting board. Uh, you got some tea, some coffee pods. You have a hot water kettle. And you also have a single pod coffee maker as well. Down here, we have a garbage. And here we also have like a plastic tub where they provide you with some dish soap, some tea towels and dish towels to do like all your cleaning because obviously you're going to bring your own plates, forks, spoons. You got to wash all that. So you got that there to do that. They also provide you a fridge and you got a fridge and freezer situation going on here. We got some facial tissue, some paper towel. I'm telling you, for the yurt, this is a huge freezer. Like, look how much stuff in here. You can fit in here. So much ice cream you can put in here. It's actually quite fairly clean. The people who came before us have kept it nice and clean. Fridge itself. Fr fridge is pretty pretty nice and clean too as well. It's not it's not crazy dirty. I, I feel like in my lifetime I've seen uh, dirtier fridges. I think I think this is called a luggage rack, and I love these things because I don't like putting my stuff on the floor. Um, oops, let's see if we can. Ah, ah, look at that, easy peasy with one hand. So we have a luggage rack here that you can use as well. We have all this artwork here in the background. I believe those are Tonga baskets, and that was curated by O Mom Collected. And we have another piece of art here as well. This is a queen size bed. I like the design of this. It's kind of, it's very special in my head. Like special as in, I didn't even think of that. Like who, who would think of this? It's, it's quite cool. It, it almost looks like pallets. Pallets lifting up the bed or keeping the bed up as the foundation. I thought this was convenient. They actually have a plug up here where it's like a two, like two, three pong plug and it's a USB plug as well. So even though you don't necessarily have a nightstand on the right or a nightstand here on your left, which is, you know, typical of a uh, bed setting or bedroom setting, you have these plugs where you can plug like your phone so you can have an alarm set of when you wake, want to wake up or don't want to wake up. You can put your, you know, books here. So great place to charge your stuff and it's not too far from the bed as well. We got a plug here right beside the kettle. 
table here and there is actually a plug right here three prong plugs here too and we got usb plugs again seating for four so if you wanted four people to be in here it's possible you got four nice chairs here you have placements on top of the table there these are from turkey and i know it because i have my own pot holders that look like this but i believe these are coasters and i really love the design on this and i'll show you and i'll prove it to you that it's from turkey placemat you have your coasters and you have your pot holder we have a full length mirror here so you know before you head out the door you can take uh, take a quick look check yourself out see if you're all good to go oh in terms of privacy too um i don't think they have a cover for the front here as long as someone doesn't come up close to the door they shouldn't see you but this is the only part where it's like i wish there was a cover for the front door all right we are heading to the cook shelter now so here we have a picnic bench really like really long nice and big um there's a door here and actually if you book um aspen yurt and the other yurt i'll have to remember the name of that that door opens and you can share the space all together but um we did not <laughs> uh, we're not here with anyone else so continuing in uh, there is an actual light in here there's a light there and uh, I'll demonstrate to you how you get that light. All right, so here's a panel and there's a latch up here that you unlatch and do it slowly. And then here's the switch. So you just flip these two up and then you'll get these two lights on. And then there's also plug outlets here as well. A table pretty much. This is where you do all your chopping up you're prepping for cooking um cleaning as well um they already have a jug full of water here and i believe yeah there's water in there we have a bin for bottles cans and tetra packs and then i believe this is just general garbage and these are huge bins got a pain barbecue going on here and there's your barbecue Woo. so that's where you can grill you have a little kind of like a prep station here too you can also put your stuff here as well and then this is where you have that gas burner so if you brought a pot or something you can make soups and all that we want to show you the other side of the cook shelter if you were to book both aspen yurt and willow yurt so if you had friends and family and you wanted to have your own separate accommodations you definitely can still do that and you could share the same area here you could share picnic tables, um, cooking. You could cook twice as much. So I'll take you to the other side. So here's the door. This door was closed originally um, because we, we, don't, we don't know the other people on the other side, but um, we just opened the doors to show. On both sides, there's lights. And we showed you earlier how to open the lights or turn on the lights, excuse. So we're going to go onto the other side here now. So we go through here and look, you got another picnic bench here. So you can have more seating of people. And if we go around, so there's a uh, willow yurt. And then if we turn around here, so we got another barbecue. So this is the prep table. There's the box to turn on the lights. Willow yurt right here. If you have friends and family. And here's the cook shelter for willow yurt. You can actually just park right here in the middle of the cook shelter and the yurt. And unload, you don't have to, it's just so close up to the earth. Check out our video on the Bits and Bites charcuterie board that we had on our first night in Aspen Yurt at the end of this video. Want more info on us comparing our experiences between the Yurt and Geodome? Check out our blog article here or in the video description below. Otherwise, click on this link to watch our video on what we had for our charcuterie board.